Hello YouTube, my name is Isis2Gazard99 and I have finally taken the plunge. I've been playing Blood Bowl now for about three weeks, um, or maybe less than that, maybe maybe a week and a half, two weeks maybe. Um, and I've just been playing around with Amazons and stuff and just mucking around. And I thought, you know what, sod it, let's, let's try and put something up there that's going to be at least more consistent than what I'm putting up there right now. You know, the Sensible Water Soccer is still going to, be, going to continue. Um, but I want to play something else, you know, Pixel Piracy, they're still fixing bugs and all that funky shenanigans in the game. Um, and I'll probably start doing another couple of videos soon, but not right now. So, um, I've been playing this on Classic Mode for a while now, um, and I'm getting used to how the game works. I probably won't be doing any input and all that sort of stuff from people, because I'm kind of, after obviously testing and playing around with the game myself, kind of felt for the team, the Amazon team, a little bit better. Um, I could step out of my depths and go over a different team, but you know what, for my first playthrough, I want to go to a team that I do actually understand and kind of know where I need to be. So I am going to go with uh, the Blitz campaign, because it's always the first time I'm going to play it. Um, and difficulty will keep on medium. Um, real time is really weird. Um, nothing seems to kind of go the way it's supposed to, if that makes sense. Um, you don't actually have turns, so since it is real time, um, you kind of, everybody's fighting at the same time, and the ball can bounce around, and um, you get random things like uh, strength 2 goblins killing strength 5 blitzers, or strength 5 guardsmen, um, because they can. You know, it's kind of really weird, you, you can't really gang up on people. But then again, the same thing can apply to you, you know, if you gang up on someone, you may be able to kill them quite quickly and pick the ball up when it drops free and what have you, but yeah. Okay, um, now campaign name, let's go with, ooh, hmm, killer campaign, there we go, and difficulty level medium, and we'll go with that. Now I am going to go with Amazons. Um, because this is the team that I started playing with first, um, I'm going to do it. To, to what colour do you want to be, Miss Amazon? Uh, maybe pink? No. A red, maybe? Does that look good? Red? Uh, deep blue? Uh, let's go with. Let's go with green. I like green. It's normally quite a good colour. Um, and I think. I think that one's got to be the one in it, surely. Now let's go with something a bit different. There you go, let's go with that one. That looks quite cool. Right, so, and the team motto is going to be one of my favourite sayings from Iron Maiden. One of my favourite songs from Iron Maiden. Die with your boots on. There we go. So we are going to begin the campaign. Uh, enter team name. Oh yes, I forgot about team name. What should we call this? Ah, I know what I would call this one. The Iron Maidens. Um, there is actually a band out there in, I uh, believe, it, believe they're from um, California, who do all the Iron Maiden songs as covers, and they are actually Traveling, a traveling band that do quite well called the Iron Maidens. Check them out on YouTube, definitely worth a check if you're an Iron Maiden fan. Um, I yeah, definitely recommend checking them out because they are really good and they do some really, um, they do some songs that Iron Maiden do not cover, so or they don't really play very often. Um, so, right, we start as always at the very bottom of the league. Um, Now what I'll do is I think I'm going to I think I'm going to buy the players first, and then um, I'm going to uh, yeah buy the players first, and then I'm going to name them, and I'll basically bring it back in the video back into when I actually name those players. Um, so yeah, we'll do that. I'll do that shortly. So right now I want four blitzers. Uh, so there's the four blitzers. Now blitzers, uh, from what I can tell, when I've been playing the game, uh, with block and dodge, they're really, really good, as you can tell, by blitzing. And just getting into people's faces, block and dodge, basically 
if you haven't played Blood Bowl before, I'm pretty sure most people that are watching this probably have, uh, as it is a Blood Bowl stream. Um, block, basically, if you get a both down, you you don't, you basically stay on your feet. So the idea is, is you go into another person without block, and you get if you can get anything but an attacker down, um, you will remain on your feet, and you would either push or knock back the person you're facing. Um, dodge. Basically, if they attack you with a defender stumbles, you get a push instead, and you get moved around. If you had things like sidestep, you can actually maneuver to wherever you want to be, to a better position, or um, you know, out of someone's tackle zone if you don't want to be there and things like that. Um, what's been recommended with um, a lot of the guides and stuff that I've read on Amazon's um, is to make these a very bashy team and well not necessarily make them bashy team but make them so they're very cagey so you use a lot of these players to break out of cages and or you know create cages get out you know run down the pitch very slowly but i actually quite enjoy using the throw and catching options um in my last playthrough i did a pretty pretty decent job of doing the throw and catch options um so what i'll do here is i'm going to uh, buy i'm going to buy two catches because they're actually quite decent I like the catches the throwers not so much the throwers are okay but they're not quite so great um, they can be a bit of a hit and miss really um, I'll explain that in a bit so what we're gonna have um, so we've got four five six seven eight nine ten eleven uh, so that'll buy me Team re rules. Uh, let's just do five linemen and then let's buy. Oh, actually, no, I'm going to need an apothecary. That is absolutely imperative. I get an apothecary and then two team re rolls. Uh, one cheerleader, one assistant coach. And one fan factor. There we go. So exactly a thousand, and that's that done. Um, team roster. So we go. So we've got four blitzers, two catchers, one thrower, and five linemen. Um, always have one spare. Always have one spare. Okay, so I'm going to stop this video here. I'm going to name the team, and then I'll be back with you with a fully named team and ready for the first match. So I will see you shortly.